Hey guys, it's Chris here. I'm back with another video and today we're going to show you how to use HLG on your Sony camera. HLG or Hybrid Log Gamma is an HDR picture profile on your Sony camera. HLG allows you to use the high dynamic range on your Sony camera in order to get really good exposure as far as your highlights and your shadows when you're recording your videos. So first we're going to show you how to set your settings on your Sony camera so that you're prepared to shoot in hybrid log gamma and then from there we'll show you how to import that into Final Cut Pro 10 in order to begin editing. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your camera into movie mode and once you're in your movie mode what you're going to do then is go ahead and hit your function button and then go over to picture profile and you're going to select picture profile number 10. By default, it's set to hybrid log gamma. Mine is on hybrid log gamma 3. I leave it there. And then the color mode is going to be BT 2020. That's going to be very important once we get into a final cut. And I'll show you what that looks like over there. Important before we keep moving on. When you're recording or before you start recording, go ahead and hit the AEL button right here and you're going to go to gamma assist or bring up the gamma assist menu and this will help you make sure that your colors are correct for the color profile that you're shooting in so if you're shooting in sl2 or sl3 you have uh, displays that help you see that since we're shooting in hybrid log gamma 2020 this is the mode that we choose and so you hit ok and just make sure that you have the correct exposure and your colors are all set for when you start recording so from here, you go ahead and you begin recording like usual, and then go ahead and you bring your footage into Final Cut. So let's go to the computer and see what that looks like. Okay, so now that we have shot our footage, the next step is going to be bringing that into Final Cut and having it properly set up to handle the HLG footage. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start Final Cut, and then from there we're gonna go ahead and create a new library. So go file, new, library, and then I'll go ahead and put that library with the rest of my footage on my external drive. Once we have our library set up, what you're going to do is go over here to library properties on the right hand side, hit modify, and we're going to change it from standard to wide gamut HDR. That's what the footage that we're bringing is, it's HDR footage. And so in order to see it properly and be able to use it correctly, we need to convert file cut from standard profile to HDR. And we do that by using the wide gamut HDR setting. So go ahead, click that and go over here. I like just keeping all the names together. I'm gonna to hit Command N and that's gonna start a new project. So I'm gonna go ahead and that project HLG I'm shooting in 4k and I'm shooting at 24 frames per second so everything looks right here I'm shooting in ProRes or rendering in ProRes rather and then from here I'm going to go to standard rec 709 now the reason I'm doing this is because most screens right now are still rec 709 there are a lot of high dynamic range screens out but for the most part, when it comes to watching it on a computer, you're gonna more than likely see it in Rec. 709. So I just go ahead and I use it in Rec. 709. And then we go from there. So the next step is to get our clips now from where we imported and into Final Cut. You can do that one of two ways. You could hit Command I and you could go through the import menu or what you can also do is go ahead and go to the finder and find your files that way. For this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And there is our clip. So as you can see here, if you look at the clip as it's being rendered out, it looks exposed correctly. Everything looks like it's right. And once the computer is done rendering, we will go ahead and we will put that on the timeline to see how it looks. So now that the computer has finished rendering and creating proxy information for the clip that we just had, what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring that onto the timeline. As you can see, everything looks correct right here in this part of Final Cut. 
and if you look at the preview everything looks okay now if you go ahead and you drag that on to the timeline however things are overexposed and they don't look correct so there are multiple things that you can do in order to correct that one thing you can do let's go ahead and just go over to this section right here click that click the clip you're gonna go over to your color options we're gonna to go to your color wheel, and as for your highlights, you're gonna click that, and you're gonna drag, and you're just gonna bring it down. And as you can see, it changes what was overexposed to the correct exposure. And then what you can do from there is we're gonna add a curve. Go ahead, you boost that up just a little bit, bring back the highlights, and then go ahead, bring the shadows back to get some contrast. And now you have a much better looking clip. Go ahead and move the mids just a little bit higher. And bring down the highlights just a little bit more just so that we don't blow out anything. Now, what I'm gonna do is hit Command 7 to bring up our scopes. And so as you can see here, my highlights are clipping. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just continue to bring that back down and under 100 and now we are good to go. From here, you can go ahead and you can add a LUT. So I'm going to use these LUTs from Motion VFX and under Effects, Show, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my favorite LUTs. Actually, Eco is going to be a good fit for this. We're going to turn on the intensity so that it's not at 100% and it looks fake. So we're going to pull it to like right around here. I'm actually going to change that to 67 manually. And then if we go here, you can adjust your highlights or your midtones or your shadow. I'm not going to go ahead and touch any of that. You, you can adjust your shadows here just want a little bit. I wanted to get closer to zero over here without clipping the bottom. And as you can see right here, it's just starting to clip. So I might want to pull back a little bit on that. And this is going to be your mid-tones right here. So what I can do is pull that back up a little bit. And there we go. You have brought in a HLG clip and you have brought it into Final Cut and now it is ready to export. So what you're gonna go and do after this is file, share, and then you're gonna go and share it to, I'm gonna do MPEG because I'm uploading it to multiple sources, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, hit next. And we're just gonna go ahead and find the folder for this. We're gonna create a folder, save, and you are all set. Because you are in Rec. 709, you won't get any error messages about having HLG content on a Rec. 709 timeline. And this allows you a very easy way to bring in your high dynamic range content and then be able to adjust the colors and the contrast how you want and have a video that you can turn out really quickly. So that wraps it up for this video guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, be sure to hit subscribe. My name is Chris. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. I will see you in the next video. Take care.